Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do all things baby. So today I'll be sharing all the hacks I've learned along the way with the Willow Pump milk bags. So these are the milk bags that I'm using when I'm not using my container. Uh, I will show you guys essentially how I pump with them. Uh, what I like to, how I like to pump. I don't do it the regular way, whereas uh, to insert the milk bags inside the flange. I do it a little bit differently. And I'll also teach you guys how to reuse those bags because I know when I didn't have the container, I recently just got my container, but when I didn't have it, I didn't want to really spend bags after bags every time I pump. I pump around four to five times a day. So that's a lot of bags and it's a high cost if you're essentially just using the bags. So what I wanted to do is a bit save up and also not damage the environment so much because it's so bags that are so many bags that are being wasted. Um, so if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, hack number one will be to pump with the milk bags out. The reason being is because you can um, pump more milk into the bags than the stated five ounce. I believe in my prime time, I was able to pump six ounces uh, into the milk bag if I pump this way. Also, it also it helps a lot to, when you're ever doing the flip and finish, it helps um, put all the milk that's left in, on the flex tube into the bag. So you can really see how much milk is going into the bag and what's left on the flex tube. So I really enjoy pumping this way when I'm at home and when I'm out and about, I just insert the bag into the flange. Um, I noted that when I do that, when my milk, uh, sorry, when the bag is full, it does tend to detach from the pump. So I prefer pumping this way. That way I don't have to go through the hassle of um, assemble it again and whatnot. So I do recommend if you're at home and if you're using the bags, go right ahead and pump it this way. I mean, you're at home, nobody's gonna judge you, so. Okay, so you might ask why am I in my Christmas attire? It's because it's literally still Christmas today, but I still have to film just for you guys because it's been something that has been requested. Uh, I know a lot of moms out there that haven't purchased a container because they have already purchased the pump and have already purchased some bags before the container came out. So you guys I know want to reuse the bags and not have to purchase so many bags every couple of months. So I decided to do this video just for you guys. So I hope you guys like it. So let me share my second tip with you guys, which will be emptying these milk bags onto into a container. I used the Medela container I've mentioned in my previous video of the Medela review. So essentially what you will need is either a toothpick or you can do it with your nail. Um, I can't get it <laughs> to work with my nail. I, I just don't like it. It's um, very messy. So I prefer to do it with a toothpick or you can do it with, um, I think it's called the coffee stoppers that they use at Starbucks or uh, wherever you can um, insert uh, into the little peanut looking uh, section here of the bag where the uh, bulb is. Uh, make sure that when you're using the a toothpick, either cut a little bit of the pointy part because you might um, pierce through the bag and you want to avoid that obviously because if there's uh, any types of holes, it's not going to pump. It's going to keep telling you to check your assembly and whatnot. So try to avoid that if you're using a toothpick. So let's get started to empty the milk out of the milk bag. Okay guys, so let me show you what I mean when I say it's easier to see how much milk is being poured into the milk bag once you do the flip to finish. If you detach it, once you've removed the pump from your breast and you detach it from the actual pump machine you will be able to see that there's a lot of milk left and uh, some milk left on the flange and on the flex tube so once you do the flip to finish like this you just press the start button and you will be able to see how much milk is inside the bag and then you keep turning keep turning until essentially there's no more milk left so when you're gonna detach it again, you see there's no more milk left. So everything that was inside the flange and the flex tube will be transferred into the milk bag. Okay, so what you will need to empty the milk bags into a container, it's either a toothpick or a coffee stopper, I believe it's called. What I do is make sure that if it's your first time, you kind of cut the tip of that toothpick just because you don't want to pierce through the bag. Or if you're not going to cut it, just make sure you don't press too hard on it. 
and it takes patience to do this guys don't rush if it's your first second or third time uh, with practice you'll become quicker so what i do is first i empty the flange onto the container like this if i have any milk left right now i don't but it's forced to have it honestly i do it all the time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert the toothpick inside the peanut looking part here of the back like this make sure that the valve is lifted like this and there's a little bit of a hole here which will allow the milk to come through as i mentioned guys it's gonna take patience don't ever do this <laughs> um the first time i did this to i think scratch my nose i spilled everywhere but now it's kind of like been a couple of months that i've been doing this so kind of took i would say i'm a pro at this now so what i do is um with my two fingers i just push down a little bit to remove all the milk that's left from one side and then remove the other the reason i don't have a lot of milk right now is because i pumped not even an hour ago i forget i had to do this video so i had to pump up again so again what you do is empty the flex tube like this if there's any more milk but we did a good job at the flip and finish and now we're going to do this again grab the toothpick uh, go on to the little peanut looking type here like this pour it like this make sure you don't press too hard again guys because if not you will pierce to the back and that's not going to be cool because that will be one back wasted so if sometimes the milk doesn't come out and you're doing the toothpick correctly into the little hole right there make sure that there's milk inside of this part i don't even know what to call it this part right here um if there isn't uh, like I said, grab your two fingers from one side and just push down like this. And we don't want the milk to come out. Again, guys, you know what patience to do this. I usually do this one before I had my container. I usually do this um, throughout the day, and then when it was four, or five in the morning, I just cut this open because I. I just use it for 24 hours. I try not to overdo it because it might not be sanitary at that point. So I make sure to only use it for um, uh, 24 hours. So if I uh, throw this out at three in the morning, my next pump at six, I'll use a brand new bag and redo the same thing. That way also at three in the morning, I just cut it open and pour everything inside the container and it doesn't take me as much to do. So right now we have about three ounces from the milk bags so what i do to remove the air out of the bag you have to make sure that all the air is removed that way you don't get the message of um bag is full please change the bag uh so you will do the same thing as if you were pouring the milk out you'll put the toothpick inside the hole right here and what i will do in a corner or sorry on an edge i will just push this out like if you were um taking the milk out into the hole but it's the air that you're pushing out. And this is what it will look like. Tip number three, uh, as you guys know, I like to be out and about. I like to go out with my baby and for her to see different things, feel different things, uh, meet different people. I feel like that stimulates her a lot. That's why I'm out a lot. Um, but when I'm pumping out, I usually use the flex tube and the flange with the milk bag. I don't use a container. Uh, it's just easier for me to store, but I do clean it um, when I'm out. So what I do, instead of bringing the brushes that you get with the Willow Pump, I got my own brushes on my own. I'm sorry about the drilling. My husband's drilling at 10 p.m. I have no idea why. Let me know if your husbands do this. I really I'm a little loose here. Okay, so what I use to clean the pumps is this little guy here. I got this, I believe, from Sephora. I, I asked the lady, hey, can I have some of the mascara brushes that you guys use just to clean my palms? And they're like, sure. And they gave me a bunch of these. Um, these are perfect to fit into the flange and the little part on the flex tube. Um, if not, I use these guys right here that I clean my um, straws with. That's the name. Uh, so these two will work. I always keep this one in my 
uh, diaper bag and I keep this one, sorry, I keep this one in my diaper bag and I keep this one in my purse because you never know when you will need it to wash your container or um, the flange with the flex tube. So that will be my tip number three. I'd get your hands on these guys. I think this is a dollar at Bolt Burn here in Canada. And this is free if you ask kindly at Sephora. Um, so those are my essentials to clean uh, the flex tube and the flange or the container if that's what I decide to go with. Uh, I usually keep a little bottle of soap uh, with me, but honestly with water, hot water, I just clean it quickly if I'm gonna use it in the next two, three hours. And I put everything inside a little lunch bag that I carry with me everywhere with some ice cubes, sorry, not ice cubes, some ice packs. If you check my Bedella review, I've detailed um, the ice packs that I currently use that are shaped to fit these uh, bottles right here. So what I do is I just put in the little cooler that I carry with me, the um, flange and the flex tubes and the bottles and essentially keeps it cool. And I make sure that there's no germs going on it um, if I clean it properly when I'm out and about. So that's tip number three. Okay, tip number four will be how to remove the flange from your breast. So when the flange is onto your breast like this, make sure you take two fingers to pull the breast down, to push the breast down and kind of let some air in before pulling the flange. And when you do that, make sure you're facing down. That way um, you don't have any spills when you are uh, removing the flange from your breast. That avoids any kind of like, um, how do you call that? Whenever something sucking on, uh, let's say a piece of skin and you just pull it out, it will kind of make like a sound. Imagine that on your nipple, it really, really hurts. So try to avoid that. Whatever I do is when, it's, it's kind of automatic now where when I'm removing the flange from my breast, I just put the two fingers in uh, face down and then slowly remove it. I, that makes a difference um, in terms of avoiding your nipples to always being sensitive. I remember when I first started with the willow, my nipples were always sensitive. I always thought that it was because of the strength of the pump. I know it was really how I was uh, removing the flange from my breast. So that did make a difference. So make sure you guys try this at home because it will make the difference for you guys. Okay, tip number five. These bags must be stored everywhere. If you guys are only, I mean, even if you guys are using the container, uh, I think it's essential to have these everywhere you guys go in your diaper bag, in your car, in your purse, if you um, have a big purse for this. Because when you are out and about in, let's say you don't want to use your container, uh, you want to use the flange and the flex tube to be a little, I don't know, faster because I feel like um, the flex soup and the flange is quicker to assemble everything and just place it on your breast, whereabouts the container takes a bit more time. Um, I store these, as I said, uh, in my backpack. I have, in my diaper bag, I have four of these in the bag where these go, because I, uh, whenever I'm out the door, I already have this in the bag ready to go, and I have four more of these. And I carry two in my car just in case I need some. I already get a pack of 48. If you're reusing these bags, I'm telling you guys, it makes a difference to have it everywhere because you won't run out, out of them very quickly. So that will be tip number five. So thank you guys for watching again. I hope these tips and hacks are useful for you guys. And if you do use these tips, do give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I will be coming out next week with a container hack because this is something a lot of people have requested on how to use it. I will be covering everything on that video. Hope you guys had a happy holidays. I, I hope you guys rested a lot. Uh, enjoyed some time with your family. I know this is one of like the best times for me in the year because I get all my family from everywhere from Canada to come here and spend Christmas with us. So thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.